Something unusual has been happening inside Tesla's Giga Texas factory. Covered up prototypes, restricted testing areas, quiet updates on the production lines it's like Tesla is hiding something big right out in the open. Now, a fresh set of leaks might have finally uncovered what that is. A completely new version of the 4680 battery called Gen 2, not made for the Cybertruck or the Semi, but specially built to power Tesla's long-awaited low-cost model. 2. Elon Musk recently said, Our biggest limitation this year is battery packs, but we're working to solve it, and I believe we'll make good progress solving it. After that, things will really take off next year. That came directly from Tesla's 2024 financial update. When you connect that statement with everything happening at Giga Texas, the picture gets even more exciting. This isn't just a small upgrade to the existing battery used in the Cybertruck or Model Y. The new Gen 2 battery is smaller, stays cooler, costs less to produce, and could be the missing piece that finally makes a $10,000 electric car possible without cutting back on performance. In this video, we're going to explain everything you should know, how the 4680 Gen 2 is different from the first generation, why the new size matters more than you might expect, and how it L affects charging, cooling, and cost. If you enjoy deep dive EV content like this, hit subscribe to Torque Elementor Support keeps us going. Make sure you tap the bell icon too, because the next big reveal could be even bigger. Let's break it down. So, why is Tesla moving away from its original 4680 battery? According to several insiders, Tesla's new affordable model, too rumored to cost around $10,000, will not use the same 4680 battery cells that are in the C, Cybertruck, and some Model Ys. Instead, Tesla is preparing a new and better version called the 4680 Gen. 2. When it first launched, the Gen 1 battery was a major step forward, but it has three main problems that make it not ideal for small, affordable EVs like the model. 2. First is the cost. Even though Tesla makes these batteries in-house, the Gen 1 cells still cost between $85 to $100 per kilowatt hour which makes it hard to lower car prices to under dial. $25,000, let alone get close to $10,000. Gen 2 is aiming for costs below $60 per kilowatt hour, which would change everything in EV pricing. Second is the size. The Gen 1 cell is 46 mm wide and 80 mm long, which works fine for big vehicles like trucks or SUVs, but it's too big for smaller cars. The Gen 2 reportedly shrinks the size by about 30%, with a new shape that fits better into compact vehicles without giving up energy storage. Third, the first generation has problems with heat. The battery pack is part of the car's frame, and that makes cooling difficult, especially when charging fast or under heavy use. Gen 2 is said to fix this with new coolant pathways and an improved no-tab design, giving it better temperature control and longer lifespan even in tight spaces. What really makes the 4680 Gen 2 exciting is its new type of electrolyte. It's a mix of solid and liquid, which is a big deal. This new chemistry lowers resistance inside the battery and reduces heat when charging quickly. That means faster power delivery. Early tests suggest it could fully charge in just 10 minutes under good conditions. Unlike standard liquid-only systems, this hybrid design handles heat better, is safer, and moves energy faster perfect for the next wave of Tesla superchargers. Even more impressive is that Tesla is working on a kind of self-repairing electrolyte that can fix small cracks and stop lithium buildup which are two big causes of battery damage over time. By combining a special silicon anode with a flexible gel-based electrolyte, the battery can balance the flow of energy even when it's not in use, helping it last much longer. 
Tesla insiders say it could survive more than 10, 000, zero full charges, making it perfect not just for personal use, but also for things like robo-taxis or delivery fleets. Gen 1 had potential, but Gen 2 might finally be the battery Tesla always promised. If you believe Tesla is close to solving the puzzle, drop A4680 Gen 2 in the comments if you're excited. So how did Tesla manage to build such a big leap in battery tech without the world noticing? The new Gen 2 battery brings important updates in chemistry, price, cooling, shape, and performance. All of these updates are made not for high-end models like the Cybertruck or Model S Plaid, but specifically for the low-cost model. 2. The original Gen 1 battery used a high nickel mix called NCM, which was good for long range and speed. But the Gen 2 reportedly switches to a blend of lithium iron phosphate and silicon. This is a big change. LFP batteries are safer, more stable with heat, and much cheaper to make. The downside is that they usually hold less energy. Tesla solves this by adding silicon to the anode, which boosts how much energy the battery can store while keeping LFP's long life. So even though Gen 2 has a slightly lower energy density, about 220 watt hours per kilogram compared to Gen 1 272, the trade-offs are worth it for a compact, affordable FANA. Car. The biggest change is the cost. Gen 1 sells cost around $120 to $140 per kilowatt hour. Gen 2 is pushing that cost down to about $60 to $70. That's nearly 50% less. A car like the Model 2 might need only 40 kWh for a 150 to 300 mile range, so the total battery cost could be under $3.000. That's key to hitting a price under $15,000 for the whole vehicle. The size is another big improvement. Gen 1 cells are 46 mm by 80 mm. Gen 2 shortens the length to just 70 mm. That 10 mm may seem small, but it has a big impact. Shorter cells generate less heat because there's less electrical resistance inside. That means Tesla can move away from complex liquid cooling systems and use simpler air or pad-based cooling instead, which saves weight and money. Smaller batteries are also easier to fit into tight spaces. For the compact Model 2, every bit of space matters. The 46x70mm size makes it easier to arrange the battery under the floor in a way that improves balance, lowers the center of gravity, and makes the car safer in crashes. Shorter batteries are also better to make. They go through less stress during assembly and have a lower defect rate. That means Tesla can make more batteries faster and with fewer problems perfect for a high volume vehicle like the Model 2. All of this points to a big strategy shift. Tesla isn't just cutting costs. It's making the battery smarter, simpler, and easier to mass produce. That 10 mm size difference shows Tesla is changing the way batteries are made to finally reach the global market. Now let's look at why the Model 2 battery system could change the entire auto industry. The Model 2 uses a battery system that also serves as part of the car's frame. This design, sometimes called Structural Battery Pack 2.0, saves weight and simplifies the build. By making the battery part of the car's structure, Tesla removes the need for extra beams or bolts. This can cut total vehicle weight by up to 20%, which helps the car go farther on a charge and handle better on the road. Tesla is also switching to what's called a cell two-pack method. That means the battery cells go straight into the main battery pack without being grouped into modules first. Fewer parts means fewer things that can break, more even cooling, and faster assembly. This also makes feature repairs and recycling much easier. Leaked information suggests the Model 2 battery will be around 50 to 55 kilowatt hours in size and offer about 210 miles of real-world range per charge.
The whole pack may weigh just 330 pounds, which is about 40% lighter than the battery in the model. 3. That's a huge drop in weight, which improves efficiency, speed, and cost. Cooling is another area where Tesla is changing things up. Instead of using liquid tubes and pumps, the Model 2 battery may use airflow design and thermal pads to spread heat out evenly. This makes the system thinner, lighter, and easier to build. It also reduces the risk of maintenance problems since there are fewer parts that can fail. Finally, the Gen 2 battery in the Model 2 is designed with energy sharing in mind right from the start. It can send power back to your home or the electric grid during peak times. This is possible because the battery is built in sections that can be controlled separately by smart software. Each group of cells can be monitored and managed, making it safe and easy to send power in both directions. When combined with Tesla's built-in inverters and energy software, your Model 2 could act as a mobile power source for your house or even help balance the electrical grid. Thanks to the use of LFP chemistry and smart design, the new Tesla battery is not only good for the Kareet could become a key part of your home's energy system too.